Welcome to Peroon, ISDA's capital calculation and analytics platform. In this video, we'll show how Peroon enables banks to benchmark their capital models to industry standards. Peroon is developed in Python and can be accessed via a web browser. It comprises a range of capital calculation engines and analytical tools which help perform the capital model benchmarking. As a first step, banks submit their capital results for a range of hypothetical portfolios. Peroon Analytics allows the user to visualize this range of anonymized capital results. We can then select the series of results we want to analyze. The scatter plot shows the range of all banks' capital results across hypothetical portfolios. For each bank and each portfolio, users can visualize how the capital value compares to the median data point. It also allows for the quick identification of outlier data points. In this example, we'll take a closer look at Bank 39. We can zoom in on the area of the scatter plot we want to analyze in more detail. We can see that Bank 39 appears to be an outlier for Portfolio 47. The value of its capital seems to be much higher compared to the median. Portfolio 47 is a short $1 million credit default swap position on a company called Eli Lilly. We want to understand which component of Bank 39's capital calculation makes it an outlier. The portfolio analysis functionality splits the capital calculation for portfolio 47 into its individual components. These are broken down by risk measure and risk types. If we highlight bank 39, we can quickly identify which parts of the capital calculation make it an outlier data point. It appears that the high capital requirement of approximately 330,000 is almost entirely driven by the credit spread risk delta capital. Now we remove the other risk types to declutter the graph and make things clearer. For this portfolio, Bank 9 seems to align well with the median capital value. Its value is lower than that of Bank 39 at approximately 75,000. Users can also navigate to the statistics page where all the descriptive data relating to Portfolio 47 can be found. We now want to take the investigation one step further and understand what drives the FRTB SA Capital difference. We can go to the Perun CRIF Capital Calculator. This tool will allow us to calculate FRTB SA Capital at the granular level based on the bank's own FRTB SA inputs submitted to the tool via CRIF files. CRIF files are read by Perun, which in turn allows us to visualize their content and make modifications so we can override the risk data inputs and verify how a modification affects the capital result. We have the choice between Basel and regional rule sets. We'll choose Basel. We can now calculate the capital for Bank 39 and Portfolio 47. Here, we've successfully retrieved the capital value for credit spread risk delta that we observed in the previous view. By reviewing the contents of the CRIF file, we can observe that Bank 39 has allocated Eli Lilly to Bucket 8, allocated across four tenors, with most of the risk sensitivity concentrated within the five-year bucket. We've reached an important stage in our investigation. We now want to compare this risk input data to that of Bank 9, which we know is on the median. Let's look at Bank 9's CRIF file. Interestingly, we can see that Bank 9 has selected bucket 7 for this calculation. The level of risk sensitivity also seems to be smaller than that of Bank 39. Let's go back to Bank 39. We can change bucket 8 to bucket 7 and recalculate. The new capital has been significantly reduced to approximately 200,000. As a next step, we can take the sensitivities from Bank 9 
and apply them to bank 39. We can then recalculate. The resulting value of almost 75,000 is very close to the median data point. We've therefore successfully identified credit spread bucketing and sensitivities as the main reason for Bank 39 to be an outlier. We can now send Bank 39 a tailored report which details how its capital calculation compares to the median, along with explanations where there are deviations. We can quickly generate these reports in Perun. In this video, we've demonstrated the main features of Perun and how it helps ISDA and member banks perform capital benchmarking. Perun is used by a large number of international banks to investigate and reconcile their capital calculations. Perun is the winner of Risk.net's Innovation in Technology Award 2022 for helping the industry understand and validate capital calculations and perform benchmarking exercises involving large-scale data in the most efficient way possible. Thank you.